Hello, everyone. This is John. It's so nice to see you here again. From this video, I'm going to introduce an amazing type of bridges: stone arch bridges. There are two parts in this series, and this video is the part one. In this video, I will be introducing the design, the build, and the principles of stone arch bridges. In the next video, I will be demonstrating everything introduced in this video to design and build a real arch bridge from scratch. In our mind, a traditional bridge is a wooden structure. With two long locks supported by a pier at each end, and with a deck on top of the two locks, the locks are beams of the bridge, and this type of bridges are called beam bridges. Since the beam is a whole piece of some material, the length of the bridge or the span between two piers is usually short. However, sometimes the bridge spans are expected to be long, so that bigger ships can go through, or it's just simply because it's impossible to install a pier in the middle. How do we make a bridge without long enough beams, especially in ancient times? Arch bridges, especially stone arch bridges. Are one of the options. Why can a stone arch bridge support heavy load without a pier in the middle? And how to build such a bridge? The most important part of an arch bridge is its arch or arches. Now, I'm going to introduce how to design an arch with a ruler. And a compass only. On a piece of paper, we first determine the positions of the footings and the top level of the arch. Then we need to determine the middle line of the arch. We draw a circle A, whose radius is longer than a half of the distance of AB. Then, draw circle B with the same radius as circle A, and the two circles intersect at C and D. Connect C and D, and the line CD is the middle line of AB and the arch as well. Now, we need to determine the circle center of the arch. Connect the top point E and B. Draw circle E with the same radius as circle B. Circle E intersects circle B at F and G. Draw a line through F and G intersecting the middle line of the arch at H. H is the circle center. Of the arch. Then we draw a circle through A, E, and B, which is the outer circle of the arch. And draw a smaller circle through I and J, which is the inner circle of the arch. Now we get the outline of the arch. Then we need to determine each stone pieces of the arch by drawing certain radius lines to divide the arch into pieces. In the real world, the top and the bottom surfaces of each piece. 
don't have to be curved. They can be flat for cutting stones or rocks easier. I prefer to have one piece in the middle rather than two pieces meeting in the middle. When the stone piece is in the middle of the arch, the whole contacting side of both neighbor stone pieces will provide support forces. When two stone pieces meet in the middle of the arch, only the top point will provide support force to each other. This point would be damaged easier. This is the complete design sketch done with a ruler and a compass only. Now, let's see how to build the arch bridge. Prepare stone pieces for the arch according to the design. Build up a temporary wooden formwork. Install stones starting from the footings along the wooden formwork. Install the last stone in the middle of the arch. Close the arch. Remove the temporary wooden formwork. Now we have built up the arch, which is the most important part of the arch bridge. Then, we can further finish the entire stone arch bridge with reels as well as decorations. Now, let's look at the mechanical principles. The top middle stone. The middle stone A has the left neighbor stone B and the right neighbor stone C. A has the following forces against it. The pushing force from its load. The gravity force of itself. And the support forces from both neighbors as counter forces against the pushing forces it gives to both neighbors. Consider forces against it only. Force vectors. Transform force vectors into horizontal and vertical force components. They are balanced. The lower stones A lower stone B has a higher neighbor stone A and a further lower neighbor stone D or the footing. B has the falling forces against it. The pushing force from its load, the gravity force of itself, the support force from the further lower neighbor D as the counter force against the pushing force it gives to D and the pushing force from the higher neighbor A. Consider forces against it only. Force vectors. Transform force vectors into horizontal and vertical force components. They are balanced. The next video is the part 2 of this series. I will be demonstrating all the details of building a real arch bridge.
including preparing materials, designing on paper using the ruler and the compass constructions, making fake stone pieces, installing the temporary formwork, and building a big arch for the bridge. Thank you for watching, and welcome to subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. See you next time.